Hello, lovely people. Welcome to another video from SIT, Software Institute of Technology. Today, we are going to learn how to install Visual Studio Code and get it ready for Python programming. To install Visual Studio Code, you first need to head to Google and then search for Visual Studio Code and then you probably get a first link telling you download Visual Studio Code, you click on it, it will take you to the Windows Visual Studio Code download page and then you pick the Windows option, pick the Windows option and then you click on download to download the, the file. After a few minutes, the file will be downloaded onto your desktop. As you can see, you double click on it to start the installation. Now you need to accept the license agreement, then just leave the default on, then you can continue to download to install. So as you can see, it's installing, it will take a few moments for the installation to complete. When the installation completes, I'll show you what to do next. Yeah, it's now complete. Installation is complete. So this is Visual Studio Code, and I'll walk you through a few a few of the, the things that we will be using in our development. The first one is the folder explorer or explorer, you can call it explorer. Over here you'll be able to explore all your files you can create a new folder where you want to store your project you can explore you can go to the folder and go to your files you can also open an existing file by using this button right here and then the next one is the search search feature which you can use to search through your project if you want a particular file you can type it to search the next one is the the source control in case you want to connect your project to github or any other source control um, program you can use this to do it the fourth one the debug this is where you can debug your applications create a json file i think that's what will, what will enable the, the the debug to work so i'll quickly create it by clicking on it when you click on you open a file for you and then Let's close it possibly back quickly and then we can try out the bag again. So this is the missing file. Long trailer will allow our debug to work with it. So, and I'll just close this quickly. And then this one is used for debugging. So if you want to debug your Python code, you do it from here. You can run and debug. The last one is extension. Now the extension is where you install all your packages. That will help Visual Studio Code recognize your Python, IntelliSys, and all that. So this is where you do that. Now, the first thing we are going to install, the first thing we are going to install is the Python extension. Python extension. So I'll just type in Python. Click on extension. And in your list, you see the Python extension. The third one is the one from Microsoft. So, click on it, you can see that. Click on it. And then, 
install as I see mine is already installed and if you read the documentation it tells you linking debugging multi-threaded remote intelligence Jupyter notebooks code formatting refactoring unit text and more that is what you get from including the Python extension now after installation it means your, your VS code is now ready to process Python code even though there are some other packages that you can install to beautify and make your life easy. An example is Kite. Um, a lot more that you can browse through here. Later on, maybe I'll do a new video showing you all the extensions that will make your life much, much better. Easier. Okay. So now that Python extension is installed, we begin to try some of some few codes to see how it goes. Um, So let's see, we can create our first Python code. Hello world! Create hello world, hello world, hello world. So let's go here. Let's open the folder. And let's create on our desktop. New folder called Python. So let's create a folder on the desktop. So new folder. Call it Python. Then we select it. So this is our folder right here and when you click on it, you have option, the first one is create a file, the second one is create a folder, refresh. So we are going to create a file called hello world, so hello, say hello, pi, because pi is an extension for Python, we can do this and then we write our first Python code. Okay, so we can say print hello world and we save it go s to save and we we'll go to the back and then we can run and we can try our debug once more let's open up the run and current file. This guy works. As you can see, after we've created the JSON file for the debug, you can see that we have this one button right here. One button right here. So we'll click on the run button just to run and see it goes we run now as you can see down here there you are we have a hello world that's our first python for this beginner 
See so over here we can create a, a, a dictionary. Say exam. So you declare which item. What we can do is um, say exam score for seven. Ninety percent, then this is eighty. Scores now you can just do a simple print, a simple print, and then we call it content of business cards. Let's run it and see it. So I just click on the web. Oh, there's an error. Okay, we're missing an S. Okay, so let's see. Let's try it again. Bingo! So we now printed there. So these are some of the Python codes you can write. You can even go further and say, let's say for, um, for, 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 for. So we can say for key or value in exam scores against There's many many more when we start our full program project the project we'll be doing together when we start it you'll see different types of codes additional for loop if then else and all that i'll be teaching you in the subsequent lessons now this should be able to get you up and running for your python class next lesson or the, in the next video we'll be starting a project in the project that will teach you on how to um, create interfaces using HTML, how to save um, data to the database, how to retrieve, and all that. We'll be learning all that in our next lesson using a framework called Django. Django. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you'll be able to get our subsequent videos and see you in the next one and thanks for watching SIT